right. Gate. Fast shuttle to New York and then on to Rome. So excited. Oh, yes, I am too. We're going to spend a wonderful summer. It's going to be a long one. I'm thirsty. Do you know where else? Why the fountain is around us? You'll find one right over there. Oh, wait a minute. I'll come with you. You okay? No. No, I'm not. Having second thoughts? Second? Are you kidding? I'm on 599. I thought we'd agreed that this was best for all concerned. No. Doesn't mean I have to like it, though, does it? Darling, are you looking for something? Yeah. I guess he's not going to make it. Who? Uncle Duke. I was hoping he'd surprise me. Nothing. No sign of anyone? No, I searched all around the cottage. Not a soul. So, so the man that came in here last night, he... He was just a harmless vagabond, I told you that. My <sighs> goodness. You know, so far, so good. But the headman's still after you. Obviously hasn't found this place. Yeah, yet. Well, there's not much we can do about it until he shows his hand. Let's see about rustling up some breakfast. I'm just... Ah, uh, it's ready when you are. I, I made you some breakfast. I hope you're hungry. I'm hungry, but you didn't have to do that. <sighs> you drop everything in your life to protect me and I can't cook a meal or two? Yeah, well, now that you feel it that way. Well, come on. Looks delicious. <laughs> I hope so. Let's dig in. <sighs> hey, this is good. Don't sound so surprised. Well, it's just that this is a side of you I never saw before. You never looked. Where'd you learn to cook? The finishing schools Angus sent me to. They, they all specialize in molding young women into proper housewives. I was taught all the domestic arts. I think I remember one or two. For all the good they did you in the convent. Well, back then I was convinced I would never use them. The way things have been going, Probably right. Your life will return to normal soon. It's not the chance to start over fresh. Without any mob vendettas or mysterious secrets or, or hitmen hanging over my head. Victor will take care of it. I'm sure of that. It's just a matter of time. But you said before we may not have time to spare. What if Veronica's hired gun gets to me before she gets to him? And that's what I'm here for. Veronica must truly hate me. For good reason. It's not your fault her husband was killed. That was his fault. Unfortunately, we have to face the consequences. You don't. It's my past. I should be the one to live it down. Why don't you forget the past? I may already have been forgotten. As soon as I finish breakfast, I'll clean up and run down to the gas station. I'll call Victor. For all we know, you may already be out of danger. Got your tickets. Grandma, right here. Uh, right here. Uh, passports. Passport. Oh, here, Red Purge. Do you think we should right. get some more money? Right. Oh, yeah, nervous, aren't you? Hey, who do I see about stowing away on a plane in Italy, huh? Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> How are you? Oh, my gosh, I didn't know you were coming. Well, do you think I would let you leave without saying one long, great, long goodbye to my favorite godchild, huh? <laughs> mm, your only godchild. What's this? Yeah. Oh, this is something that no self respecting world traveler would ever leave home without. Credit card? Credit card? What do you think? What a credit card? It's a plastic world, isn't it? See? Look at that. And a diary. Yeah, and? And camera. All right, now you can record each and every detail of your trip, and when you return, I'll expect a very dramatic reading, along with a slideshow. You got it. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm. Oh, uh, uh, would you excuse, excuse us, us, please? Uh, Thank you very much. Oh. Can you give me a giver? Sure, honey. Can you help me call him? Okay. Okay. I get on there. Okay, where's the phone? It's right over there. I saw it when I went to get a drink. All right, you're leading the way. Let's go. Okay, Debbie. Here we go. Up, up here. That's it. Let me get my change. You pick up the phone. That's it. Okay, you got a dial tone? Change it over into tiny money. Go to the Thank <laughs> you. 
No answer. I've been trying all morning. Oh, sweetheart. Did you, uh, did you try the club, too? Yes, and the penthouse and everything. This may be busy someplace, that's all. But where? I don't know, but, uh... I'll tell him that you tried to reach him, and you send him a postcard from Italy, huh? Okay. But I really wanted to talk to him before. Hey, Robin, that's your flight. You ready to board? Uh, hmm? Yeah. Okay, sweet. All right, sweetheart. And you have a wonderful time, all right? I will. I'm going to miss you very, very much. Hey, Carlos? I'll call you all the time, and maybe Daddy and I will take a trip up to see you. Really? Yeah, really. Oh, good. I wish I was coming with you. Oh, next up. Yes. Yeah, okay. Now, listen, now. You kiss the ground for me, all right? Oh, I will bring you back a handful of soil. Yes. Philomena, you look after my daughter. I sure will. I you too, sweetheart. Don't worry about her, huh? Want this, huh? Yes, I'll take it. Oh, you take it on. Yes. Ciao, Philippe. Oh, ciao, ciao. Oh, you Okay, bye. 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 Uh, look, I'd better check in with HTI, so I'll see you both later. Huh? Ah, thanks for coming by, mate. You're welcome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Get your hands off of me. What do you want? I understand you've taken it upon yourself to order the execution of Camellia Mackay. Is this true? You're a fool, Veronica. You should know better than to interfere in family business. I want to know who's executing the hit, the current whereabouts of this man, and how he plans to kill the girl. And I want to know now. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't lie to me. I gave my word Camelia wouldn't be punished for Evan's death. But Evan was my husband. Evan was family. He lived by our rules. And his murder was avenged by them. You violated that code. I won't stand for it. Tell me where your assassin is. I have nothing to say to you or this family. Yeah. This is Lavery. Let me talk to your boss. Just a sec, Mr. Lavery. I'll see if he's here. You just missed him. Try back later. Well, maybe you can help me. You know Victor talked to Veronica yet? No idea. So Victor probably hasn't been able to call off the hitman. Huh? I couldn't say. You'll have to ask Mr. Jerome. I'll tell him you called. I haven't time to play games with you. I want this hit called off immediately. I can't. Why not? I, I don't know where that man is. You have no way to contact him. He was supposed to contact me when he was finished. Not before. Only if there was a problem. You better pray there's a problem. Stay with her. Don't let her out of your sight. Wait till the hitman makes contact. And when he does? Dispose of him. What if we're too late? You let her worry about that. If a hair on Camellia's head is touched, you'll answer to me. I don't give a damn if you're a grieving widow. My honor is at stake here. But Jerome's word is never broken, not even to a Mackay. I intend to keep it that way. special knock before. Yeah, well, I'm not so sure whoever's after me won't, won't bother to announce himself. Well, if you don't hear that knock, you don't open the door, you start piling all this furniture up against it. All right, did you talk to Victor? No, I, I couldn't track him down. I'm sure he's doing everything he can to have the, the headman called off. It's a 
just hope it's enough. I'm sure I wasn't followed. And I've hidden the car well enough. Anyone passing the cottage won't think it's in use. So I guess that means we'll be here for a few more days. Yeah, until I, until I know you're safe. Well, let's see what our computer can find out about 23387. How do you speed up a computer? You're lucky to have this one. If we didn't have it, it could take us months to break the code. Well, the DVX concentrated on breaking us. I have absolutely no idea what this sequence means. That's what I'm hoping our little baby here can tell us. And soon. Hello? Uh, just a minute. I'll be in the other room. Holding. Just a minute, we'll be right there. We can... May we help you? Uh, I hope you can. You're Anna Devane, right? Uh, absolutely. And you're Scorpio, right? Who are you? The name's Doug Baker, and I need a detective. You've come to the right place, Mr. Baker. Please, have a seat. Thank you. Now, how might we help you? I heard you two had formed an agency. Actually, you're our first client. And I wanted the best. Although I'm not sure my little mystery is quite as dramatic as the ones you usually handle. But they all can't make the front page, can they? Mr. Baker, if I never make the papers again, it'll be all too soon. Uh, exactly what's your mystery, Mr. Baker? Well, I own a little cabin out in the country not far from here, and over the past several weeks it's been broken into a few times. Did you report it to the police? Yes, but the local sheriff can't do anything, so that's why I came to see you. I mean, you're heavy hitters. Former WSB agents, ex-cops. If you can't figure out who's ransacking my place, then who can? Well, we'll try. Where's it located? Address right here, and it's my phone number on the back. You have any keys? Yes, but I doubt if you'll need them. I'm sure the locks have been broken again. Well, when we uh, learn something, we'll be in touch. Good. I'll uh, bill me however you like. Uh, I'll trust you. Well, we're very reasonable. It's got to be cheaper than cleaning up that cabin every week. Yes. When we know something, we'll uh, call you, Mr. Baker. Yes, Thank you. We'll try very hard. Look Thank forward to hearing from you. Indeed. Any way out? Right. Hi. What do you think? Best job. Oh. Why don't I run on up there and investigate? Nothing's happening here with the WSB, and my goodness, we need the money. Also, to keep up the facade of this being a detective agency. Wouldn't hurt to have a look around. No, yeah. I'll be in touch. Yeah, well, uh, keep your eyes open to be careful. I will. She's not too crazy about going back there. That's because it's near a cottage where she and Duke used to stay. Yeah. Do you believe our computer has a message for us? Stand by for possible meanings of 23387. This could be the break we've been looking for. We need a break. Possible interpretations of the numerical sequence 23387. We've got an address. Oh, that's terrific. We already figured that out. The chemical formula. Well, that certainly narrows it down, doesn't it? The letter HCO. Or a date, August 21st, 87. <laughs> so much for high-tech snooping. All right, we can't check on the addresses or the formulas. Let's see what the WSB has in file regarding HCO. No reference. Try the date again. It's got no meaning to the WSB. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask for a conclusion here. False lead. So the WSB figures we struck out. What do you think? We may have hit a dead end, but that doesn't mean that the lyrics are a phony clue. <laughs> it does, as far as the WSB is concerned. I'm convinced that Ballantyne was trying to send us a message there. The point is, how do we decode it? We don't. Not without more clues. Look, if it's too cryptic for that computer, we're certainly not being able to figure it out on our own. So we bide our time. 
That is not my long suit. There's got to be something we can do. All right, I can fill you in on my current strategy for counterattacking the DVX. Oh, I figured you'd get to that sooner or later. We don't have the luxury of doing it at a leisurely pace. Agents are dropping like flies. Yeah, and I'm next on that list, so how do we plan on stopping the DVX? You can't beat them. Join them. time of my life here, you know. I'll never forget the times we shared together. You love her deeply. Mm -hmm. I've never seen that look on your face before. Not even when we spent that week together years ago. That was different. I realize that now. Too late. What do you mean? You love Anna more than you ever did me. Oh, I was such a fool. Why? For falling in love? For only seeing what I wanted to see. We all make that mistake. I destroyed your life in the process. Why do you listen to me? Duke. I truly did believe that you loved me more than Anna. Otherwise, I never would have pursued you like that. Well, what's done is done. You gotta let all of this go. I can't, Duke. We can't change any of it. I've made such a mess out of everything. I wish I had died instead of Evan. Oh, don't say that. Then you'd be where you belong with Anna. And not in the middle of nowhere. With someone that you couldn't care less about. And I don't blame you at all. Backtrack for a second. Mm. What do we know about the DVX plans? Little or nothing. We know they're making a big push to do something. Yeah, I'll wipe out the WSB. What if there's more to it than that? Such as? Obviously, the DVX has targeted the elite of the Bureau for elimination, but... What if that's just a smokescreen? That's one hell of a smokescreen, old buddy. I wouldn't put it past them, though, would you? No, I wouldn't. Go on. All right. For all we know, they're up to something a lot more sinister. And there's only one way to find out. Infiltrate the DVX. <sighs> Unless you've got a better idea. No, no, I agree in principle. But look, we really don't have time to plant one of our agents to the DVX and wait for that mole to work his way up in the organization. So, we find someone who's already there. You mean turn a DVX agent? We need a friend in the enemy camp. You know any traitors, would-be traitors, currently in the employ of the DVX? No, but obviously you have someone in mind. What happens to an enemy agent when he fouls up his mission? He is promptly dispatched to the great spy network in the sky. Right. They're taught right from the get-go that failure means death. Now, I want to play on that fear. How? Uh -oh. I know a certain DVX agent who must be looking for an alternate line of employment about now. Roger Barrett. Who else? Of course. Failed to get his hands on the MOX 36 antidote, so he knows his head's on the chopping block. I wonder how badly he wants to save it. Maybe enough to help the other side. That's the big question. Will he shop the DVX in exchange for a little bit of cooperation? This might work, except for one thing. 
I mean, how do we get to Barrett without alerting the DDX? I mean, they've got to have spies in that prison keeping an eye on him. We planted in in the cell. <laughs> you mean we get some sucker, gets himself arrested just to make a pitch to Barrett? Look, we can't hardly walk in there waving the American flag and expect the DVX to stand around and do nothing. All right, then, so who is going to be our front man? I mean, who is willing enough to get himself locked up for the cause? Oh, no. No. No, no, no wait a minute. <clears throat> you know how I get. When I go to jail, I, I mean, I go nuts, and I, I cannot be confined. This office, this office is just a little bit too small for me. Now, you know I cannot be confined for any reason whatsoever. No. It is a far, far better thing that you do than you will ever have done. <sighs> that... uh, what about HTI? If I go to jail, who's going to watch over my company? I'm sure they can get along without you for a short spell. Oh, come on. Now, you think of all the brilliant research that's going to go down the tubes. No pun intended if I'm not there to supervise. Come on. You wouldn't have Bunsen burner from a barbecue. Now, what difference does that make? Those, those scientists depend on me for moral support. Now, are you willing to take their inspiration away from them just because you can't get somebody else to rot in jail for a while? There is no one else. There's always you. I've got to stay here and coordinate the plan. That's a great line. But look, I I'm wish gonna, I'd thought of it. I'm going to yeah. be there for you. I'm in the prison dressed yeah. up as a guard. You holler and I'll be there. Well, I am hollering right now. Anna is going to be there as, as, as Barrett's attorney. We're all going to have access to him. Oh, that's terrific. You know, I certainly do appreciate you working all of this out in advance without consulting me first. I knew you'd agree. What choice do I have? Thanks for volunteering, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. August 21st, 1987. That is the most logical interpretation of the now, American if we, sequence. If, if we really knew what that meant, we wouldn't need Barrett, and I would not have to do charity work in some prison. Look at it this way. The life you save may be your own. You are funny. You are so funny. Well, if I am going to prison, I'd better get started. Camilla, will you come out, please? You don't have to cry. I don't blame you for any of this. It's not your fault. Can you hear me? Charles, and you can resume your life as always. It's gonna work out, I promise you. 